Hey guys, welcome back to another parts factory installation tutorial video. Today, I'm working on this Hyundai Elantra. Now, you're probably uh, having some dramas with your boot locking actuator. Few issues with these, uh, you've got the electronic actuator internally inside of it. It will um, stop functioning prematurely. I mean, these cars are 9, 10, 11 years old, but they are already breaking down even after you know, you've only opened your boot 200 times. So the uh, quality of the genuine part is not very uh, top notch. However, we do sell them at Parts Factory. Uh, thought I'd let you know just before we get started. They're 73 bucks with free delivery anywhere in Australia and we can even send it international if you do require that. I'll stick the link in the bottom of the video. If you need this part, check it out. But today I'm going to show you how to fix this issue. Uh, basically, we just replace this whole unit. It sits up in there like that. We literally, two bolts, pull it out, put the new one in and it's Bob's your uncle. Now just remember, the whole purpose of uh, us at Parts Factory Australia is to save you money. What I'm trying to say is, a mechanic <clears throat> might try and charge you 200 bucks on this because they'll buy it off Hyundai at 100, upsell you 100 to 200 and then charge you to fit it. We're going to do it all in house, literally 73 bucks and you can do it at, at home all from the comfort of your garage. So let's jump straight into this one. But one last thing I need to mention just quickly. Uh, we have been sponsored by Southport Wreckers on the Gold Coast. They've allowed us to use all of their cars here. And pretty much all they wanted me to mention is that they sell used engines at a fraction of the cost of most other wrecking yards. Have a quick look around. You'll see we're surrounded by over a thousand used cars here. They're all for wrecking and every single one of them has a good petrol and or petrol or diesel rather engine in it available to be purchased at southportrecords.com so i'll put the link in the bio if you need a used engine or you know someone that does definitely check it out let's get this done hey guys in order to access this you've got to pull this trim off i'm going to show you how to do one the proper way and then you're going to see something that might make you bloody <laughs> squirm a bit because i know that you're going to want to look after yours but i'm going to rip mine off because this is a car for wrecking and no one's going to be purchasing this anytime soon use your flat uh, phillips head screw and just slowly pull back on it and it'll actually screw out of the housing and then you can just grab the whole thing and pull it out like that now a lot of people swear by just buying a kit and replacing all of them but if you do it the right way with a proper drill gun like that you can get them out without damaging now look away for a sec <laughs> you can literally just do that all the way around but of course you might tear your good fabric so I uh this is how the manufacturer recommends you do it <laughs> yeah right so we're just pulling them off one by one as I said you guys can do that properly if you wish oh there's some up here there you go there Another one there. So there's technically nothing wrong with this. It's still able to be used, but for me, it's now out of our way. We've got our two things we still need. Now, look at that. It's actually got a little rod on it. That's interesting. Right guys, even to this day, we're still learning. We've just realized something. You see our boot lock, it has this manual release. This one has a rod, see like that? Now, it's not gonna ruin the video and I'll explain why. What we've just realized is there's two different, uh, you got your poverty pack, which comes with your lock barrel and that just means the cheaper Elantra or you have the electronic release type, which would have an electronic button there, which means you don't need the rod and you have an emergency release. So depending on what type you have, you need to think about that before you purchase this. We stock both though, so bear that in mind. Anyway, let's get back into the fit. It's still a super easy process. The only thing is with this one, you're gonna come over here, pop that rod, pop it down like that, pull this plug, however that works. Yep, yeah, it just pops out like that. And at that point, it's literally two 10 mils. Then you can bring your 10 mil up, go counterclockwise, one, two, Trying to balance that bolt in the rattle gun while you bring this down. And there you go, guys. Now, yes, they do look a little different. Ours has a little plastic cover on it just to start. But on top of this, this is your lock barrel type, the one with the lock barrel. This one 
is you're electronically actuated only. So you'll find maybe from memory, there's a Hyundai Elantra GLX, that will be this type, and then a regular Elantra will be this type. But look, easiest way to tell, if yours has a lock barrel, it has a rod. If it doesn't have a lock barrel, it has a button, and you can reach through the guts and use the emergency release. So you see where I'm getting at here. Work out what you got before you buy. Right guys, it's now time to put it all back together. We're gonna reuse this one, because this is a wrecking yard. We're not gonna put our good parts onto this used, destroyed car. But I'll show you how to do it. As you're already probably aware, you might not even be around for this portion of the video. You just literally throw that back in, bring your little 10 mils up, line them up with the holes, maybe even stick it on your rock socket. Bit easier on the old hands. Bring them up, tighten it up. Not too tight, because you need to get your other side in first. Couple clicks, one, couple clicks, two. Remember, plug back in, and then of course, the last step, rod in and bring this little yellow part around and click it in. And that's the whole job complete, guys. Alrighty guys, that's the job complete. Uh, five minutes, super easy. Imagine the savings you've just saved doing this job yourself, and of course, purchasing through yours and truly, Parts Factory Australia. Guys, my name's Lucas. If you have appreciated this video, leave a thumbs up to let me know that you love it. And if you can, subscribe to the channel. Guys, we have heaps of content, DIY installation tutorials, and another thing, we have Can-Am content. So if you're into your Can-Ams, your UTVs, Polaris's, whatever, give us a follow. We've got heaps of upcoming stuff. We're going on uh, little camping trips and whatnot, filming it all with the GoPros and stuff. So it's gonna be very exciting. Oh, and best of all, all in the great Australian outback. Listen to that. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching.